we played South Africa, really small ground, St Kitts it was. And so going through the team meeting the way that I normally would, you know, I used to run the team meetings and I'd bring up the bowlers and talk about the bowlers and how we're going to play them and what the team plan was to play Sean Pollock and Jacques Callis and all these sort of guys. And um, I started the meeting by saying, right, Sean Pollock, number one one day bowler in the world. You know, I think it's really, and I got, I got there and Gilly and Hayter said, hey, hey, that's enough. Don't want to hear anymore. I said, what do you mean? So they've just stopped the whole team meeting. So now we, Gilly and I have got together, we've talked about this. We're just going to absolutely smash him from the first ball. Famous faces of Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden. Because my whole, my whole thing was, don't let, him, don't let him take wickets early on, and then we can pick on the rest of the guys after that, take the rest of them down. I said, no, no. We're just going to absolutely destroy him. As soon as he runs into bowl his first ball, he's gone. Attacking uh, Sean Pollock. They're definitely going to attack Sean Pollock. And I think he bowled 10 overs for nearly 100 in that game, 90-odd runs in that game, and they just absolutely dismantled him. They got, they got him early, which meant that they had to bring someone else on in the power play, which played in our hands as well. And every time he come back, they hate us and run down the wicket and just whack the first one up into the grandstand first ball. And it was just, it was just brilliant. But it, it just showed that those two had got together off their own back and said, this is how we're going to play and this is what we need to do for the team. And so that was Sean Pollock done before them. Before, and we, I think we got 300 and, I reckon we got 390 or something in that game. And they were on target, the South Africa on target to get them when we snuck across the line at the end. But um, no, brilliant planning for, from them. It. It's all over. The Yorker does it for Nathan Brackett. Light on all the faces of the Australians.